Hey everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. A 23 years old man present with appendicitis. A decision is made to perform an appendicectomy. The operation commences with a 5 cm incision centered on McBurney's point. Which of the following structure will be encountered first during this dissection? So here we can see a 23 years old man present with appendicitis and uh, appendicectomy will be done in the operation 5 cm incision in the McBurney's point. So will structure will be encountered first. So here the options, options are external oblique aponeurosis, internal oblique muscle, transversalis fascia, rectus abdominis and peritoneum. So we have to find out one of the options. This will be answer of the question. Here we can see this is the McBurney's point and here a transverse incision made. Or 5 cm incision made through this McBurney's point. So this is the normal Magnus McBurney's point. This is the modified and finally here we can see this is the Rutherford Morrison. So through this incision, appendicectomy was done or epitome usually do through this incision so we have to find out who will uh, who is of the structure should be cut during this procedure so here first of all we can see this is the skin and superficial fascia then we can see the uh, muscle and this muscle and this will be cut so here we can see the layers of the abdomen here first of all is skin then superficial fascia but in the answer they didn't uh, deploy any answer uh, any option that no who is present skin superficial fascia so skin superficial fascia then we can see the third layer which is the external oblique muscle then we can see internal oblique and then transverse susceptibilis then fascia so our third option uh, third answer here the external oblique muscle but in this region this muscle converted into the fascia so here we can see this is the here and outer layer first of all the muscle this is the aponeurosis and aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle so after cutting of the aponeurosis there is the internal oblique muscle and finally this is the transverse abdominis muscle so first of all among them the external layer is the external oblique aponeurosis it is the external oblique aponeurosis because after the skin and superficial fascia there is the only one structure this is the external oblique aponeurosis and other layer also present such as the internal oblique aponeurosis fascia transversal transversal abdominis and fascia transversal is uh, uh, then parietal peritoneum so after skin and superficial fascia at McBurney's point there will be a structure of external oblique aponeurosis thank you all